But the race of the weekend, I think for sure, is the 1,000 meters at Dr. Sander. It's an American record attempt. You have Ajay Wilson, who has just a stellar record indoors. I think we said 16 races in a row undefeated. Somebody pull up the stats. No, it's 13 straight indoor wins, 26 straight indoor wins against non-DSD athletes. So that's dating back 2016. Her last loss indoors to someone other than Francine Nianzaba was the 2016 Gotham Cup Mile against Marielle Hall. She's also run won 16 straight races at the Armory. Her last loss was oh, 2016 Milrose 600 versus Alicia Montana. I don't think so. No, it was 2013 Milrose against Alicia Montano. So she hasn't lost to the Armory for 10 years. That's pretty phenomenal. And she races there a couple times a year. 10 years? I mean, this is crazy. So all of that, she's unbeatable. But I think she's the underdog in this race. And one thing you just said, John, the last race she lost indoors was a mile. This one isn't a mile, but it's 1,000 meters. Ajay Wilson is an 800-meter runner. She's run a 405, 1,500, is that right? But 405, yep, that's her PB. Sage heard a collector last year became, yeah, a good international 800 meter runner. I think that's a fair way to put her now. She's no Ajay Wilson in the 800, but not that far off. And she's a better 1500 meter runner. So, also, this one was on our calendar for a long time. It was billed as the Sage heard a collector American record attempt. And then all of a sudden, Ajay Wilson drops in last second. Ajay doesn't like to lose, though. This is just, it's just it's an intriguing story for me. I'm really excited about it. Race of the weekend for me. Robert, do you agree? I'm thrilled that Ajay popped into this race at the last minute. And even more thrilled for the sport that Sage didn't drop out of the race. Like, there's an American record champ. Can you veto? I know in some of these races, like, I think we saw this at pre last year, John. Certain people weren't allowed in the world record attempts because they didn't want any competition, which is totally bogus. If you're willing, if you're in shape to run faster than anyone else in history, or in this case, American history, you shouldn't be worried about some other American being in the race. I guess you're going to rabbit them and they're going to use you to do it. So I think it's great that it's a competition. Who you guys got? Sage or Ajay? I think I'm going Sage. And it's funny. I was like, oh, Sage had such a strong end to her season in Europe. She, you know, she's running 157. She got third in the Diamond League final, which is a terrific performance. I'm looking, she raced RJ four times last year. She lost all four, including the Poland Diamond League and the USA final. Remember, RJ Wilson was very close to beating a thing Mo in the USA final last year. Came up short, didn't have a great world. She's still only 28, which is hard to believe. Seems like she's been around for 100 years. So, and she's the world indoor champion from last season. So this is kind of disrespectful, but at the same time, as you said, well, then, it's a thousand meters. It's not an eight hundred. We also know Sage has been planning for going for a fast time for a long time. So with that in mind, I will pick Sage Herder. I don't know if the American record goes two thirty four point oh four is the time. And then initially, I'm like, wait, Sage Herder or Roger Wilson? They're definitely a better eight hundred meter runner than Jen Toomey. Right, I, I barely know Jen Toomey's name because she was running before I started following the sport. But she ran 159 indoors that year. She was fourth at World Indoors. She was quite fit when she ran this 234. So I don't think it's an absolute slam dunk. It goes down. But I also think Aji Wilson and Sage Hard to Collect are a better 800 runner, better runners at their best than Jen Toomey. The question is, are they at their best on January 28th or close enough to it to break this record? I'm kind of torn on this Sage Herta, L.J. Wilson battle. I know John would say as a journalist, I'm not supposed to be rooting for someone, but I was deep down in rooting for somebody normally. But this was a tough one for me because, I mean, as a fan, I always liked the John McEnroe's, the Bratz, the people that made a lot of noise, but that's not right. L.J. Wilson is just such a quiet standard of excellence. This indoor streak is pretty cool. She owns the armory. So no way I want her to win, but then Sage Herder? Can we get a prediction? Sage Herder wins, no American record. That's my prediction. Robert. American record winner. 
I think the American record willful. It says I just received a payment from Adidas. It just came through on Venmo. Ajay's going to win it. So I have to make a prediction too. Damn it. I, I have this like a, allegiance to Ajay in the armory. Like I met her family there. It's like this thing. She's never loses. I think she's going to lose this race. But I can't go there in their prediction. And I'm going to say, watch out. If she does win this race, because sometimes you can pick with the heart. Look out for Aj Wilson in 2023, man. She beat Sage Herda, who was gearing for this race and is a better long-distance runner in 1,000. Look out. I'm going to say Aj Wilson, 232.8. I just realized it, though. According to the Let's Run.com relationship theory, Sage Hurden is now married to her college teammate. She's in a stable relationship. She's going to have an amazing year. Mr. Klecker, on the other hand, is screwed. He's going to never be seen from again. I mean, I'm I'm guessing that when they were engaged last year, they were in a pretty stable relationship, and he won the U.S. title. So, not so sure about that. Mr. Klecker actually will be racing the night before him. 